Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And today we have the biggest piece of good news for the boycott of update 3.6. Now, very briefly, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, when update 3.6 came out, three of the new characters, Blue Marvel, Anti-Man, and Nova, but especially Anti-Man and Nova, were only obtainable through this ultimate hero chest because it's RNG based, because it's essentially gambling. Uh, people were very upset, myself included, because that's not how we get characters in this game. And so we started a boycott of Marvel Future Fight. We said hashtag trending on Twitter and we stopped spending money. I stopped spending money and crystals in the game. As you can see, I'm still sitting at 35,000 since the Black Friday sales. Um, and generally we, you know, gave the game negative reviews on the App Store and the Play Store to try and dissuade Netmarble from doing this. Well, they finally responded with what I can consider to be our first victory. Now I say first victory because this is not by any means the end, but I am not going to comment on or give my opinion on whether I think the boycott is over or not. So if you are watching this video to find out whether the boycott is over or not, you're actually going to need to watch until the end because it's a little bit more complicated than just yes daddy or no daddy. So let's first take a quick look at uh, the official notice about the ultimate hero chest. This was released earlier today. Uh, pr pr prior to that and what I was originally going to talk about was a tweet and a Facebook post that Netmarble had put up about this scheduled maintenance for Marvel Future Fight that didn't contain any information whatsoever about the nature of the maintenance. However, uh, we jumped on that during my live stream and then shortly after that, Netmarble deleted both of the tweet and the Facebook post, which I imagine were uh, kind of the prelude to this notice. And I called out Netmarble on Twitter that they were being extremely untransparent, they were being totally opaque, and that they were not, uh, you know, creating good community relations because they're just surprising us with phantom maintenance without any word whatsoever. So then we got this, probably in response to that criticism. And you can read what it says. I'm not going to read all of it, but the, the highlighted parts, the good parts, is that they're apologizing for not talking sooner to us about the ultimate hero chest and that they realize that uh, the problem was more serious than they thought and the right solution um, and response. So that's good that they're trying to come up with something serious and that they have the right attitude about this. Um, they acknowledge that it wasn't a simple solution for everyone, and I will get into that later because it is important and it does um, matter for us moving forward. Uh, but the meat of it is actually what they say down at the bottom. Uh, at this moment, we do not plan to release any new heroes in the game that will be only obtained through an ultimate hero chest. Uh, and sometime in the future, the ultimate hero chest, the one that's currently in the game, will be removed completely. We know that this is the crux of the issue, and we've learned that this rollout does not work for this game. And then they're going to start their 50% crystal refund for all of the sellouts who purchased the Ultimate Hero chest prior to the boycott starting, or actually in the beginning of the boycott, and prior to the discount and the uh, pity timer for the Ultimate Hero chest. So this is a win for us because Netmarble is acknowledging that the problem is the actual box themselves. They're not acknowledging, they're not saying that it's because you can't get them anywhere else. They're not they're not making any excuses. They are hitting the donkey on the tail. They are, you know, really getting the point uh, about why we're upset. And it's also a win because they're going to be removing the boxes. And it's also a win because they said this does not work for this game. So they acknowledge, you know, a lot of people compare this game to Contest of Champions. And Netmarble purchased the LA studio for Kabam, which produces Marvel Contest of Champions and has the game engine for the uh, fighting style that, Net that Contest of Champions uses. And so a lot of people thought that they would be influencing Netmarble. I think it's the other way around, but... It's, it's good to hear them say that it doesn't work for this game. They're, they're acknowledging the fact that Marvel Future Fight and Marvel Contest of Champions do not work in the same way, that we cannot have the same type of character acquisition, and what's good for one is not necessarily good for the other, or at least what they've grown accustomed to, I should say. But that is kind of where it ends, and there are still a few loose ends and 
bad points to be discussed. So the first one I think that a lot of people are going to bring up, and it's an extremely valid point, is how do we get Anti-Man and Nova, Cynic Alex? And essentially the only way you can get them is still the worst way that they made free to play. And that is by going into the shield processor in the lab and getting the universal uh, selector and then spending your dust, your uh, chaos, or sorry, the purple Norn stones, the universal Norn stones, and gear up kits. Um, after you get them to one star, uh, if you get enough vials randomly, uh, then your best bet would be to use a mega tier 2 advancement ticket. That would be the cleanest way of getting them uh, ranked up. Alternatively, you could use a mega rank up ticket and then somehow slowly painstakingly grind their bios and then use a tier 2 ticket but i do imagine that sometime in the future we will be getting another way to obtain nova and anti-man's bios but that is still uh, a question mark that netmarble has not answered so it is something that we still need to know and it does still make the characters extremely difficult to get um, somewhere along the lines of characters like clea and like the a force uh, i would say that they're pretty comparable now uh, just, you know, despite the fact that you can reliably get She-Hulk bios, for example, a little bit faster because you get one free chest a day or more if you're a higher VIP level, whereas you could go days without getting bios if you get extremely unlucky from the processor. But in terms of how you rank them up once you get their bios, it's very similar between Nova Anti-Man and now the A-Force. So you, we do have to kind of balance that out. The second thing I think a lot of people are going to kind of gripe about or wring their hands about is whether the boycott is over or not. And I think that's the biggest question here. And I can't, unfortunately, answer that question for you guys. I don't have the answer because I am not the boycott. We are the boycott. And so I leave the question up to you guys. Is the boycott over? Do you feel uh, and are you satisfied with Netmarble's response and the steps that they are going to take? You know, some people might be happy with this response. Some people are not going to be happy until they see the response in action. We should be getting maintenance, uh, you know, in a couple of days to rectify this situation, but we don't have an official timeline about it, uh, aside from this maintenance period that they're going to be introducing for the crystal refund. Some people are speculating that that crystal refund will also have the loot boxes removed. Some are not, but it still matters what you think. Uh, some people are not going to think the boycott is over until we have a, a free-to-play friendly non-RNG way of getting Nova and Anti-Man, which does not include the Shield Lab processor. Um, my opinion on this is somewhere in the middle. So what I want you to do is absolutely let me know in the comments below. I'm going to throw a poll up on YouTube uh, a few hours after this video drops. I'm going to put a poll up on Twitter as well. You can hit me up on both platforms if you want to make your voices heard everywhere but that's essentially how i want to leave that answer it's not up to me uh while i may have taken the form of the leader or the face of this boycott i am by no means the ruler or the dictator or executioner of this boycott it lies in the hands collectively of everyone who did their part and their job to spam one star reviews and stop spending money and stop spending crystals and speak you know amicably and eloquently to Netmarble in a way that they understood and they didn't flag or remove as just kind of hateful noise uh, in a pretty tumultuous time for them with probably their worst received update of all time. Uh, so I do sincerely want to extend my thanks and my congratulations to you watching at home, at work, on route to wherever it is that you're going. This official notice can also be and is also an official check that your voice was heard and that your uh, impact in the community and in the game was felt. So don't ever think that you don't have a voice or that you don't have power to change things because this is the ultimate cause and effect situation. You know, it hasn't even been two weeks that this stuff has gone down and we've already essentially achieved our ends so i am proud of you guys uh, but we'll have to see where this train stops so let me know in the comments below i absolutely need you to comment this time you can say your regular 
uh, ridiculous meme stuff, but also please tell me where you stand on this boycott and how you feel about it. Vote in one or both of the polls. You can go on Reddit as well if you feel as though your voice is not being heard on all three of those platforms sufficiently. I care very deeply for every one of you and thank you so much. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content, you want to support me. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.